Alright, Psycho Mantis is complete. Uh, we don't need to pick up anything because we already picked up everything from that room. But we are going to pick up these two here. Replenish our FAMAS and SOCOM. Got a little cutscene here and then we'll keep going. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. So the part with the wolves can be a little tricky. Um, all I can tell you is that, just depending on which direction he's in, sometimes you can just run if you know exactly where you're going. Other times it might be a little difficult. We got lucky there, as far as where he was at during that. And then you just want to head over here as quickly as possible before any of them have a chance to hit you. And then we're going to use the cardboard box trick for when we come back through here multiple times. And I'll show you how to do that right here. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. You want to smack Meryl real quick and then immediately equip your cardboard box. I know it's kind of weird. But that's how it works. And this will keep you safe from the wolves. What are you thinking? This place is mine. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... Leave it to me! You want to be really careful here because there are obviously uh, claymore set up throughout this entire area and it can kill you immediately even if you get hit by just one. So make sure you follow her route to the T. I couldn't find any other route to use except for this specific route that she is using. If anybody knows a route out there besides this one, please let me know. Otherwise, you're going to need to follow it and do not deviate whatsoever because if you do, you're in for a world of hurt. So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Only a little? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Meryl. What is it? <gasps> Meryl, get down! Uh, ah! Meryl! in the book. The sniper's using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. No. My gun. I can't reach it by myself. Don't move. I promised. I wouldn't slow you down. I... I... I, I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. But war is ugly. There's nothing glamorous about it. Snake, please save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Now 
get out of here. Meryl! Damn! Snake, it's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. The sniper's waiting for you to go and help Meryl, so he can pick you off. Don't do it. Must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. It doesn't matter to her. She's just watching and waiting for you to expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be on the second floor of the tower. If Wolf is in the communications tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. Colonel, take it easy. <sighs> I'm gonna save Meryl, no matter what it takes. <sighs> okay. Thanks. What's wrong, Naomi? Nothing. I'm just surprised you're willing to sacrifice yourself. You got the genes of a soldier, not a savior. You trying to say that I'm only interested in saving my own skin? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Like an animal? I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm gonna save Meryl for myself. Colonel, don't worry. Snake, thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Alright, so now we gotta do the painstaking backtracking in the game. Uh, this game has some notorious backtracking. Uh, it's a relatively short game, and even with the backtracking, it's really short. There's gonna be two main areas are going to do a lot of backtracking. This is one of them. We need to go all the way back to where we fought Ocelot in the armory there and pick up the PSG wand. So one of the things I loved about Twin Snakes was the fact that uh, you didn't have to do this completely in Twin Snakes, I believe. I, 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 I hope I'm remembering that right, but I'm pretty sure they changed that for Twin Snakes, that you didn't have to do all that backtracking, or they made the backtracking significantly easier. I do remember you being able to take some of the trucks with different cardboard boxes and things like that. So obviously there you just want to use your cardboard box to get through and you should be fine. So notice that when dogs uh, get alerted, it doesn't show up an alert screen or anything like that. So don't worry about alerting dogs, don't worry about alerting cameras. Essentially only uh, enemies that you see or uh, can really affect your kind of alert rating. Other than that, don't worry about anything besides them. So we're going to be heading all the way back. This is, again, a little bit of backtracking. Um, uh, there's a few things I wish I would have done on my original time coming through here, like blowing up another one of those C4 things to have a few more stun grenades. I hope I'm going to have enough stun grenades by the end of this because there's that section that's going to be coming up where um, essentially stun grenades are the most important thing getting through that uh, kind of elevator or the, the stairs of hell, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. But we're just backtracking here. Now, when you go through this area here out where the tank used to be, there's going to be a lot of claymores as well as a lot of cameras. So, but they're pretty easy to get around. Even if the camera does see you slightly, just get out of its range and you're fine. Um, go ahead and pick these up here. Grenades never uh, doesn't hurt to have too many grenades. There's also more over here, plus shaft grenades as well. And then we're gonna stick to this edge right side. We're gonna pick up one of the claymores down here, and then of course on the way back we're gonna pick up a lot more of the claymores because you can use those actually in a another boss fight that's gonna be later on in the game. No enemies really to worry about as long as you just make a straight dive to where you're going. When you get through this section right here, you can head straight to the elevator and go up. However, there are quite a few enemies in the armory, but if you know their routes, then they're pretty easy to get by. We're only going to disturb one enemy. And he's going to be the first guy that you see. Once we come over here, there's going to be one guy that's just pretty much going to cross your path as soon as you get out. Uh, make sure you unequip whatever item you have so that you can do a knockover. And then continue to move forward. He should not be alerted or anything like that. Wait right here and then move into this 
room. Now, there are lasers. You can't see them, obviously, but if you just stick to the middle of the room, you're going to be okay. It can be a little tricky. I definitely recommend to use the analog stick on this one as opposed to the uh, direction. If you've done it in the time I have, then you can easily move right back and get out of here. There's the wall that we should have broken earlier that give us some more stun grenades. But we didn't. I just hope it isn't going to mess us up in the end. But we'll find out. So, let's talk about this boss fight. Um, I figured out essentially two ways to beat Sniper Wolf. This is a this boss fight is going to be a lot tougher than it looks. I'm going to make it look rather easy, and I can assure you it is not. For those of you that have played Extreme Mode or tried to do a big boss run on this game, know just how finicky the aiming is. Um, the aiming in this game. Is uh, with the analog stick you can aim a little quicker, and if you want to kind of be more precise, then you need to use the um, D-pad. But what what can I say? This this one took me about I want to say an hour to figure out to go through to try different routes, different ways uh, to see which one is the best. And in the end, I'm going to show you two different methods. One method is a surefire way to complete this without taking any damage. It's just not a quick method. It will take you a lot of time. Don't worry about any alarms or anything like that right there just because he saw a piece of you. Again, that does not hurt your alarm rating at all. But, you know, I'm going to explain it while we're in the middle of it. But there's going to be two ones that I'm going to show you. One is going to be straight up kind of, I wouldn't say predicting, but being very aware of where she's going to go next. Because there's no way to predict what she's going to do. Here in this room, just make your way slowly here. Don't move up to this area too quickly because there's a guard that you're going to see right here. So that's why you want to move through that slower and then you should be good. Wait here at the bottom of the middle stairs and then make your way up and go through the same way essentially that we did before. But as I was saying with the Sniper Wolf boss fight, essentially you're going to want to move to the corner as quickly as possible. There's going to be a moment where you see her red dot laser, that means she's moving up. When that moment happens, then we're gonna jump out and start taking her down, right? It is a lot of uh, being aware of where she can be. Once you've completed this Sniper Wolf battle a few times, you start to become aware of the certain locations that she can go to. Now, they're all going to be random. Like, nothing that she does is scripted in a way that it's always going to be the same every single time you go through it. So remember that. There is, I found a little bit of a script at the beginning, but only if one certain thing happens. If one certain thing happens, then, then you can be aware that you're going to be able to get about three hits in a row if you're fast enough. Here, immediately equip your cardboard box again, and you're good to go. We're going to go to another little secret hole that you can get into that's going to give you some more PSG-1 ammo as well as uh, some medicine that allows you to kind of aim better, but we're not going to use that because we have a different method that allows you to aim better, which is bringing up and down your uh, kind of inventory, except we're not actually taking your weapon away. We're just bringing up the inventory and immediately letting go. So that method is, in my opinion, a lot better than to do the method where you actually turn on and off your weapon so that you got about maybe two or three seconds of aiming before you start to kind of sway really heavily. So you got two, three seconds to aim, then essentially hold up the item wheel. You'll see what it is right here. So immediately we're going to go to the left and then we're going to wait. You're going to see the little red flash. When you see that red flash right there, immediately get out, switch to your PSG-1, aim up, and then you're going to hold down the thing and then let go. And you're going to keep repeating this process. And you have a few seconds of good aiming and get a shot on her right there. She's immediately going to go always over here and to about right there. That's almost scripted. Immediately she's going to get up and do this right here. If you hit her there, she will immediately come back and do that. That's the only script. Other than that, everything else is you just got to be on your toes. So here you just want to wait until she comes out. She can either come out of the right or the left side here. It becomes very difficult to figure out but luckily she came out of that side which becomes really easy you can get her over here and then at this point we're going to switch to the second method now I probably could have 
continued on and maybe got lucky and get that extra hit, but I didn't want to press my luck. This is the surefire method. Aiming over here, getting about where I am. And this takes a little time to aim it uh, perfectly, but essentially what you want to do, and I don't do it very well here, is you just want to have your body just slightly out. But as you can see, I'm not at a good angle. You need to be a little further back. So once you scoot back, come out just a little bit so that you'll be able to see the side here. As you can see, that's just not enough because she does two different moves in that area. So come out just slightly more, and then you're good to go. And then, boom, there you go. And she'll keep coming over here so you have plenty of opportunity. That is also the best way to do this mission without taking any damage. It will take you a long time if you immediately from the start go and do that method. Because she'll only come over there maybe once or twice a minute. So that could take up to five minutes if you do it that way. So I showed you the first method, which is just to anticipate where she's going to go. Try to get your hits as quickly as possible. And then I showed a little bit of the second method, which takes a lot longer. But I at least wanted to show you guys two different ways of completing that. Um, once you've done it enough, you will get better. So just remember that at first, if you don't succeed, you know, dust yourself off and try again, you know? I mean, man, they should put that in a song somewhere, right? But we're just going to pick up a few extra things and then we will move on to the next section where we have to make a choice. Meryl or Otacon? What are we going to do? Let's find out. Don't move! It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You are a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Didn't you know that two-thirds of the world's greatest assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I am Sniper Wolf. And I always kill what I aim at. Oh, you're my... special prey. Got it. Huh. Oh, I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I think about. Take him away! 